Those who play Roblox know about the platform's very own marketplace, which is where we can buy items for us to customize our avatar. An example of it are these thousand of faces that we can get for our character. But did you know that there's a face in the game which you can't use? For us to know which are they will watch this video that shows the scariest faces in Roblox. He starts by showing this one which is really damn bizarre. Next is this smile face, which is also pretty weird, and for 15 Robux. Now this one, good guy! Gosh, that's too damn strange. As you can see, the game has quite a few of these odd faces. Brookhaven even has its own face library for players to use. But none of these are like the video we saw. In the recommended faces, we can't find something like that as well. Let's go and look for face scary to see if we find anything. Oh gosh, look at all of these. This one's kind of like Squidward. Let's see if it fits me. Wait, it bugged into my model. It's literally beneath my face. What about this? other one. Why are all of these bugging on me? I'm not sure why this is happening. For it to work, I changed my head model to the classic one you find in Roblox. Now it's the time of truth. Whoa! Look at that! This one's real scary! That Squidward one is finally working. That's so weird. But beyond even those, there's some faces in here that are animated. For example, this one right here. It doesn't move that much, but it still makes it feel a lot scarier. There's also this one, which for me is the scariest of them all. This face is so creepy. It's like we're using a mask on top of my face. That's so strange. Now if we match this scary face with this black cloak, we'll kind of look like a hacker with a face all buggy like that. If I saw someone like that in Brookhaven, I would run for my life. Why don't we test this on Brookhaven players? There's some people on this public server to do that. This will be our first victim then. She even left the door open, so I'll just enjoy that opportunity. Doesn't seem to care though. She literally just just jumped away. Well, all right then. I guess that means we basically got a save for free. Let's just blow it up right quick and grab all that money. Then we just get away from here. No questions asked. Actually, I'll just sit down on the couch like nothing happened. For sure this money is totally not the owner's. You can trust me. Someone seems to be at the front of the house. Wait, is this the owner of the place? Oh, she actually banned me. You're beautiful. Wait, are you guys trying to date? Oh, I guess they aren't. This guy just got rejected fast. That's what you get for trying to date in Roblox. She even said in the chat. But you're not. She even called the guy ugly before banning him. Take that you creep. Go cry as the baby you are. I literally don't care. Whoa! That girl is ice cold. Now I'm feeling bad for him. Come on my guy. I'll take you somewhere nice after all of this. Don't even think about talking to her again. She ain't worth it. I think the arcade is somewhere pretty nice. We can hang out and play until you feel better. Let's just play until you forget her. He stopped crying. Maybe he's up to it. Let's go. All right. That's what I like to hear. Look at that. We actually made a new friend in this game. I'm not sure why he befriended someone with my face, but okay. So I was thinking, why don't we try and get revenge? She literally humiliated you. Doesn't she deserve some comeuppance? No, I love her. You're kidding, right? That guy is in complete delusion. Well, all right. Since it's gonna be like that, let's swoon her. First things first is we gotta get you some new clothes. This doesn't look like a regular person person at all. You may have the muscles, but you ain't got no style right now. So let's come to Rockstar where we can get the best clothes in town. Now go get yourself a proper fit. Look at our friend here. He's looking a lot more stylish right now. Even got a haircut. He's even back in shape again. All that's left is to get you the nicest car we can. That's gonna call even more attention. So I'll get you the best car in all of Brookhaven. Come on, guy. Let's ride. Wait, I think he's talking to this girl now. Is that the same girl? You're beautiful. Damn, our boy got some riz. I'm even asking to see if she doesn't want to go out with him. I can't. I'm a minor. Okay, yeah. Let's get out of here. In this video, she's showing us Rotten's big secret. She starts by getting this exact house right here. That's the Apocalypse RP1. She then goes down these stairs, makes herself small, and goes inside the staircase. There she finds a letter written by someone. Well, all right. Let's grab this lot so we can get that house. We need to get this exact one right here. Since it's still loaded,
voting, I want to ask you guys to leave a like on the video and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. The house will be done when you do. With all that done, we can finally look for that paper. We just need to open up this underground passage. Go down here and make ourselves as small as can be. And apparently we can just go through the stairs? Indeed it worked! I'll even get a flashlight as this place is quite dark. Here's the paper that was in the video. It basically talks about the agency and someone named Marcus. It seems to be written by Madison. After that girl read the letter, she goes to the cemetery in a tombstone written, I'm a rotten. If we go into town hall, we can see in Brookhaven's most wanted someone called Chief Rotten right there. He uses a police uniform and has green skin, kind of like a zombie. Let's go into the cemetery then. There are some grays here. And right there is the one we're looking for, I'm a rotten. Which according to that video is related to that poster there was at town hall. Let's go here in this room. You can see someone with that same surname right there. Chief Rotten. Continuing with the video, she takes us to the library where there's a hidden red book that she then uses in the museum. And it makes a ghost start appearing. Apparently, after we summon the ghost, one of the tombstones changes to let me out now. Of course, we're gonna test that out and see if it's true. Let's do it like the video. She jumps on these bookshelves to find the book. Alright, we already got the book she told us about. She's already right about something. So let's go to the museum and... Oh! This ain't a museum. This is a restaurant right now. I'll just click the museum button to make it load then. With the book in hand, we have to try to use it in this empty display. Alright, the light appeared. Now, whoa! Look at the ghost right there. It's even making a very weird sound. And if you notice it, the ghost is even holding the same book as us. Alright, he's finally gone. And the skull appears <laughs> back up again. If this myth is actually true, we're gonna find that let me out tombstone in the cemetery. I hope it isn't. I'm gonna be scared if it is. Well, everything seems normal for now. Oh, it's actually written right there. Wait, I fell into it. The tombstone is actually written let me out now. For some reason, we can even get into it and see the coffin. Something we forgot to talk about is that behind the tombstone, it's written creator of the agency. She even highlights that letter from before because it was talking about the agency as well. Then she even goes to the coffin we found and hears a growl coming from it. Creator of the agency. That's actually true. So that ghost has probably something to do with them as well. Maybe even the creator. Here's the coffin we were talking about. If we go and click it, you'll hear this scary growl coming out of it like there's just a huge monster inside this thing. Well, beyond being real spooky, it's actually true. This video is gonna show us a secret right there in the auto shop. Looks like she is in an older version of the game. You can see that stuff looks quite different. She goes to the back room and clicks the mop and it opens up a secret passage where she finds finds this big place down there. She's now just showing everything that's in the room, like these guns on the table. As I said before, the one she was playing was an older version of Brookhaven. You can know that just by realizing that the location of the auto shop has totally changed, it's not next to the fire station anymore. Inside, you'll already see it's quite different. Even the back room doesn't have the mop that she used to open the secret door. But just to make sure, we're gonna get a bed, and we'll use it to get into the wall and see if there's any anything in there, which is actually nothing. That's normal though. From update to update, we get new things and some old ones get removed. But there's a way for us to see the old Brookhaven map and find that place, which is by playing this game, Old Brookhaven Map. As you can understand by the title, yes, we are in an older version of the map, so we can find quite a few old things from prior updates. You can already see that the spawn's floor is completely different. It's quite more simple than now. It didn't have the glass or the room down there, which everyone tries to make a house in. For some reason, the metro station didn't even exist. Even the stores were still in construction. There's even this vacant lot that's gonna be filled in much later with the museum and the post office. That's not what we're here for. We want to go to the old auto shop to check if that secret is true. So let's go inside. We got their classic green motorbike. There's really not much that has changed here. Now if we go into the back room, we'll find it. There is where the mop would be for us to open up this secret door. It's it's probably just not working because it's not the original map, since that would make the scripts for that not work. But let's just go down here already. This is the old criminal headquarters. They got guns from both sides of the room. There's quite a nice little couch to hang out in this secret room. Beyond that, you can see behind the counter their symbol, the ski mask, which is the criminal symbol in Brookhaven. They even have cameras for both the bank safe and the police station. So the criminals had quite a place back on these prior updates. But that's going to have to be a 
for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below what other mints you want to see me try out next. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. They're more than true. They're fun. Go ahead and follow my Roblox profile at NandoYT. With that done, you'll be able to play public games with me as well as being up to date with what's going on. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Roblox at your door. Have a good one.